I'm not doing any new interviews. Man, you could really be saving my life here. I am not a therapist, but I can recommend uh, uh, Fuck! This is a bad idea. I'm just... I'm Come gonna... in. Come in. Are you sure? No. Oh, uh, it's your son? My brother. <laughs> if, you, if you don't mind, I... I'm sorry. Just... Sorry, this photo is really important to me. And I don't like having it on display. Did he die? Again, man, I'm sorry. I stick my foot in my mouth. Please. Um, more of a doer. Nah, not so much a talker. Every time I talk too much, things just get fucked up. Unless you're gonna act out your interview, you're gonna have to use your words. Whenever you're ready. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, uh, how do I start? <laughs> okay, so, I think for the first time in my life, I'm in love. That's beautiful. Well, it should be, but he's, doesn't want anything to do with me. Why not? I don't know. Maybe because I'm quiet. I don't know how to just say what I'm feeling. And what are you feeling? So much, man. And like, I couldn't tell him. I just don't know how to say the hard stuff. And what's the hard stuff? You're not gonna use my real name or anything, right? No, uh, you can look at the no, release. It's, it's, it's cool. So. Well, we met at work. Now I'm an assistant coach, private Christian middle school for boys. And he is, was the head coach for football. He was really sexy. I was attracted to him the moment we met. But I kept it to myself. Now we hit it off right away and one day after practice, he said goodbye like he was saying hello. When he hugged me tight, I'd hug him tighter. I just didn't want to say the wrong thing to ruin him. You know, I never say the right thing. I didn't make a big deal when he would stare at me. I just smiled. I'll see you back to the theater. See you later. Into kisses. Kisses turned into sex. But we never once talked about what we were doing. We just glided. And we were having a lot of sex in the beginning, always protected. But one night, it just got so passionate we were going in and out of each other without even realizing it. And then afterwards, we were both so paranoid that. We started asking each other all the questions we should have asked before it happened. Neither one of us could guarantee a clean bill of health. So we went and got tested. Just wanted to get it over with so we could go back home and roll around in bed all night. But he tested positive. Isn't it funny how they call it positive when it's a bad result? Is that why you two broke up? He was devastated. Mm -hmm. But we stayed together for a while. Until everything changed. He kept asking me to get retested like I was the one who had given it to him or something. So I did. A month later and three months after that, still negative. And that's when it all started to go to shit. That's when he started to resent me. I need you to stop. Stop. The hovering over me. Why are you still here? Hmm? You feel sorry for me then? But you don't have to be here. Right? You just, you're going through emotions. I don't need that right now. But you 
just say something. I just can never say the hard stuff. You know, to this day, I never told him. Never told him what? That I care about him. That I love him. You know, I didn't care about his status. I really didn't. But he was just so sure that I wanted to leave him. You know, I was the one who had been with a whole bunch of guys. He had only been with three dudes his whole life. And he turns out positive? That must have been really hard on him. I mean, of course. But I was trying to be there for him, you know, support him. He didn't want to tell anybody and I could tell that he was losing it. I just didn't know how to help him. I told him to tell his sister and he went off on me. Sometimes these things act themselves out like stages of grief. It's, it's a process. It's all just confusing to me. Were you both closeted? Uh, him more so than me, but both of us to some degree. I mean, my family knows, sort of. Well, his doesn't. Mm. Didn't. You know, we keep a low profile at the school because if they were to find out, it wouldn't be cool. Hey, that's a lot to deal with. And I'm not trivializing your situation, Oren, but you did tell me that your life needed saving. And as difficult as all of this is, it's not life-threatening. Since we split, um, I've been going kind of crazy. How so? Last night, I saw this guy on my way to the bus stop. Do it. First time doing something like that? No. How many times? Shit. I don't know.
Oh, 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 oh,